The following Let's Play has been rated perfectly fine to watch. Any attempts to break the game are for entertainment value only. However, if any typos happen to be found... <laughs> Yay. Good for you. Hello, everyone! Welcome back to this game. When we last left off, gosh, this place is taking a while. Yes. Boy, yes, howdy. It's, it's taking a while. So that you need to hurry up and those... talk to all the flowers. Or, star flowers. Yeah. Th uh, okay, this, per uh, this switch is for one of those cooks that was making the cake. Something. I'm guessing the one on the left. Yeah, the, something interesting you know, has occurred to me, though. Out of all yeah. of the character sprites or what have you that they could use for the bakers, why use Bowser's most powerful warrior? Well, they have German accents, don't they? Ah, this is true. This is that that is important too. Mouse. Mouse. Pointer. A wild a wild pointer appears. What? Wild pointer <laughs> uses annoy viewers. <laughs> Nothing. It was super effective. I'm curious Don't if worry, that pop up on screen. Hi. Hello. I am Galstaff, Sorcerer of Light. <laughs> Hi, Galstar. I'm Kulix. I'm the Gal Dark Knight from Veranda. <laughs> the pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon wall. Do you have any Mountain Dew? It's in the fridge. Duh. Can I have one? Yeah, it's in the fridge. Hey, do you want one? <laughs> Where are the Cheetos? <laughs> I have no idea what you two are referencing. Classic. Well, I'm glad you asked. Oh, I needed that. I see. It was first a comedy sketch by the Dead Alewives, but then it was later um, actually put on the disc for Summoner for the PS2. Yep. As bonus content. And it was hilarious. Ah, Summoner. What a disappointing first if RPG. If there's any girls, I want to do them! Oh, hello, new enemy. They're How are you? They're not there! Get drunk! <laughs> I'm sorry, we couldn't help it. I cast Magic Missile? Why? There's nothing to attack. <laughs> I'll cast it on the darkness. <laughs> Oops. Now you're surrounded by ogres. I didn't get the timing right. That's kind of oh, bad wow. of me. That is, a, that is a very lucky number of HP he had. Oh jeez, I just remembered what this guy has in the original game. And it's not good, so I'm just gonna... Screw the message and get rid of this guy fast, because if he has that attack... That would be really, really bad news what for he me. he has in the original game is a tendency to not be here on the Star Hill. That's for sure. Aren't these guys, like, in the volcano? No, the mammoth was here. Are you sure? Yeah, I remember it. Oh. I also have done a good job of avoiding them then. But these guys have the dreaded drain beam attack, which has that big ball of a big beam of light shine down on everybody for massive damage. Ah yes, the drain beam. 
I don't know if it's Flight Federation has that, but... Yeah, not just... I'll just be glad that uh, this isn't like, say, you know, Vagrant Story, where if you miss the time hits, you could very easily just get one shot. Oh, God. Now, this right here, this is good writing. Yes. Yes. But I, th this, <laughs> this is where I have a problem. This is where I have a huge problem. You know, it was in the last video that I started ranting on this one and I realized we weren't even here yet. But, um, yeah, the, the whole thing of the game is without the Star Road, your wishes will not come true. Absolutely will not come true, right? So the Star Road is fixed. Well, what was Mallow's parents' wish? And not to be a little spoilery, but you know what eventually happens, right? Yeah. Mario uh, Mallow uh, comes across them and finds that they died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a pretty big spoiler, way, um, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have said this, that. This yeah, yeah. Actually, the entire game has a very similar ending to uh, Macbeth. <laughs> but no, seriously, Nietzsche would have a field day with this. <laughs> Nietzsche. He's got a funny name, doesn't he? Nietzsche. Yeah, it's really... Considering uh, his uh, profession, it's really funny that... Of, all the things we talk about Nietzsche is, he's got a silly name. Yeah. Let's just forget about all of those uh, Xenosaga games and whatnot. Let's just focus you know what? On a lot of people didn't like Xenosaga, but I really did. I thought they were really good. I would love them, absolutely. Good, good. But anyway, what I'm getting at is here, this whole Star Hill thing could have a lot of, um, a lot of uh, philosophical... Um, import because if you think about it on the one hand you see that the wishes won't come true because the star road is blocked up not unlike some fat guy who's eaten too much cheese <laughs> but on the other hand you have people like Mario who are not making wishes they are doing and forcing things to happen for themselves. So then you get into this whole existential thing of what is the line between a wish and willpower. A wish and... Yeah, you're right. Because... Um, and it kind of depends on what you wish for or what your desire is. If it's like... If I wish for a glass of water... I can walk to the kitchen and have my wish granted. Without the aid of Star Road. And that is the whole will to power aspect. Right. Absolutely. Who is this for? Toma from Chrono Trigger. Obviously. Fair Could enough. No. Oh yeah, it could be Kroko, because he's got that ring that lets him find hidden treasure chests. Signal ring. No, uh, yeah, you're right. It, it's got to be Kroko. But anyway, you, actually, you don't really need to get philosophical about it. Because, as stated, there is a wish here lingering on Star Hill that has not made it to Star Road to be granted, but it gets granted anyways. Well, maybe it fell before right. Star Road was broken. I mean, look how long Malo's been gone. He was a baby whenever he was found by Faraclusius. Hmm. So, it could be that Gino took his sweet time getting down to the planet. Yeah. And you just kind of got to wonder how long that the people up in the heavens were around. 
Well, let's be honest. What is time to celestial beings? Are they oh, bound by time? I don't know. Are they really celestial? I mean, if they weren't bound by time, then even though Star Road is broken, it's also would also be fixed right now. Oh, I'm just saying. Well, I mean, they they have to be bound by some sense of time, obviously. Well, right. But if you, if you like look at the Bible, right, in the second coming of Christ, he says, "I'm coming soon," right? Well. To us, I've heard a uh, I've heard an argument that what he actually means there is he's coming quickly, like he's going to strike real fast. You won't see it coming. Maybe, but I'm just saying. Well, if that's not what he meant, and he meant soon, if Jesus Christ is in heaven right now, I think there's a pretty good chance that we should um, refocus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm yeah. Not are not we, uh, in are we playing Mario RPG? <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Not not, th not that I don't like the way this conversation is going. However, I think this is going to come back and bite us all. Ah, uh, who cares? This my let's plays and I say we can talk whatever we want. Fair enough. Discussing Jesus never oh, screwed yeah. anyone over on the internet. Now that's never that's never gone south. Those conversations have always ended well. Yes. Especially in reference to a party of game. People have been watching this let's play for a while. To suddenly decide to not watch it because we talked about Jesus would probably be a dumb move on their part. Because now they're gonna feel that, well, they wasted all this time watching this LP and they don't wanna watch it anymore. Mm. I'm saying I'm surprised what a sore subject Jesus is to a lot of people. It's it's true. Oh my gosh. It's and it's kind of the same people who uh get angry when you wish them a merry christmas. You know? Like I, you know, you, it's it's been like it's a faux pas to not to say anything other than, you know, Happy holidays. Yeah, I, I saw this. I saw this delightful uh, comic strip the other day, where three children were sitting outside of the principal's office in the school, and one of the kids said, "Well, I said the F word," and the second kid says, "I said the GD word," and the third kid says, "I said Christmas." <laughs> <laughs> mm. well, I mean, how much hate? do you have to have to get angry at someone for wishing you you know to have a good time within the month that there's a holiday regardless of your religious standpoint that must have been Yoshi yeah this one here which is a wish that has just been granted during this journey by the way so maybe Lantis has a point that this is all a bunch of hullabaloo as for this, it's I'm a bunch not of entirely sure. Could be a placebo effect. That. I like that. That that that's 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 a good one. I like that. That's what it is. Gino looks freaky. Yeah, oh, oh my gosh. Holy crap, I never noticed that one before. Gino uses Leer. He's like a vampire. Wait, you mean he sparkles in the sunlight? No, I mean he's <laughs> well, a vampire. He, he, that, he, he doesn't sparkle in the sunlight. He is a sparkle. I mean, I mean a real vampire. Hey, look, a star. And the longest star sequence in the entire game. Let's count how many times this loops here. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight. Wow, that was long. Well, they really had nothing else to um, to uh, shore it up. Honestly, I thought I thought this one was really jarring. Out it's, of all of them, it's the only They're star that really you don't have to fight a boss for. It's just sitting there. 
And there's no dialogue. Because it's a what? Placebo effect. It's a, just, you know, there's no exposition. No one exposited this entire time. Exposited? Exposited. Although yeah, I like how that means that the song is timed so that it finishes loop just in a way. Actually, never mind. I can't. I don't know how to explain it, so I won't. Hey, go back to uh, Molesville. I remembered. Oh yeah, I remembered. Yay! And I've gotten a few. And I just now remember too. Yoshi things. So let's see how much money I have now. Two ninety-seven. Well, hopefully, it's not more than three hundred. I guess. I don't remember it being that expensive. I think the last thing... It's got nothing. Oh, no. It's got to be after the Yuridovich fight. It's got to be. Yeah, I always, I always did that mess, like, near the end of the game anyway. Well, if you're carrying Peach on you, you want that ASAP. <laughs> did I just say SAP? No, you said say that. ASAP. You're all right. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is that I never used Peach to attack. I always use her for healing purposes. I mean, just when you're running around randomly grinding and you don't freaking... I never ran around grinding. Fair it's enough. Me. Fair enough. enough. Come on, you know me. Always... Uh, let's see, what's my inventory looking like here? I got enough for so, four Yoshi cookies. What was I getting cool. cured waters for? You know what, I'm just going to go back and sell these real quick. I know I'm coming up on a sunken ship, but... Oh yeah, sunken ship. Spoiler alert, it's wet. Yeah. <laughs> no! I think the strangest thing about this whole thing is that even though I can't actually hear the audio from the game, I'm in my head perfectly matching the audio. Oh yeah, me too, definitely. Like when those stupid little weasels were like swinging their arms to hit, I was, you know, just hearing that little doo 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 doo, -doo noise just every time. Yep. It's hilarious. I want my cookie back, cookie back, cookie back, cookie back, cookie back, cookie back. Okay, I could have Yoshi's! Yoshi's cookies! Cookie back, cookie back, cookie back, cookie back. I'm pretty sure somebody gets you more cookies. Yes, there we go. So, I really don't need to worry about saving these cookies. I can just come back here and get an infinite amount of them. Pretty much. However... I'm pretty sure there was some sort of advantage to doing it the right way. I just can't remember for the life of me what it was. I think it had something to do with that fat toddler in the corner there. He's got a thyroid problem, and he's really sensitive about it, thank you very much. Well... I guess someone shouldn't have taught him perfect English so that he'd know what we were talking about. <laughs> I didn't show that this off last response. time I was here, so I'm showing it off now. You can just hop off and watch them race and make bets, and sometimes the odds gets really good, like 10 to 1 odds that Yoshi's going to be the one to win, and if that's the case, bet all your cookies, you're going to get a whole lot back. Oh, it looks like I might... Oh, come on, are you kidding me? There was like half a foot... Oh, wait, maybe he still won. Okay, he still won. He just... I guess the finish line is a little bit before I thought it was. And now they're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how far behind I am. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know that. So I got one extra cookie from out of that. To us, it was a very exciting race. Yeah, it was over in like five frames. <laughs> Alright, well, I got my cookies. Those are apparently very useful, so I'm just gonna keep them. Those cookies were forged by the Kibler Yoshis in the heart of the forest. Now I want cookies. 
you know, uh, um, you know, we're just gonna end this episode here, and let's snack on cookies. <laughs> cookies but I don't have any cookies. Neither I'm do I, but who cares? Cake. It's a perfect yeah. excuse to end the episode. Yeah, so... Alright. Later, guys. Bye.